Hi, I'm Doug Schulte here at Gemini's factory in El Goibar, Spain. Uh, to give you a factory tour as well as take a look at our uh, new GT5i G4 CNC turning center. The new GT5i was introduced at EMO in 2019 and uh, this design that we have ordered is a four bed guideway design so you can see the tailstock mounted on the back side of the ways and the carriage is mounted on the front. This machine has a 55 inch swing over the bed and 43 inch swing over the carriage. So you can turn apart 43 inches long the full length of the machine. This machine has four meters, 160 inches between centers. Our machine's equipped with the, the Fanuc 31i CNC control with the Geminis uh, developed friendly HMI. So all the aspects of the machine will be clearly shown on the HMI as well as the program, the uh, tools, the spindle loads, the RPMs, everything will be uh, completely shown on the HMI in a very operator friendly format. You'll also be able to access maintenance, maintenance records, user manuals, and many other functions in the CNC control using the HMI. Also has standard a handheld pulse generator that's a multifunction handheld control which gives you multiple functionalities as well as moving the machine around as you would expect. Dual USB ports are included for uploading and downloading programs, manuals, drawings, anything you'd like into the HMI. Geminis has also developed areas to, so the, uh, maintenance personnel can easily access critical areas of the machine. This panel can re be removed for easy access to the, to the spindle and to the drive system. The base has automatic hydraulic clamp and unclamp. So as soon as it unclamps, it will move the tailstock. As soon as you let go of the buttons, it'll, it'll clamp itself back automatically. It is a mechanical clamp with a hydraulic release. So if power were to fail, the tailstock base won't go anywhere. As you can see, the inside walls of the machine are all stainless steel. The back wall of the machine will open up in various panels to allow an operator access from the back side. We also have sheet metal uh, inserts in the, in the casting that are stainless steel to allow for better chip flow. Certain materials uh, flow better on the stainless panels than they do on the painted surface. So with this rear panel open, the operator has good access to the back side of the tailstock. Uh, this is the motor drive system in the rack that's mounted on the bottom of the bed uh, that moves the tailstock back and forth under NC control. If you have our steady rest on the machine, we've included a steady rest with this, this machine, and if you have the steady rest on the machine, it can also be moved using that rack. So the operator is not having to manhandle it. He can easily ro rotate the wrench and it moves the steady rest along the base of the machine. This is an additional support rail that, uh, so the carriage not only rides on the two boxways on the top, but also that third rail at the bottom. So it helps to support the weight that's, when the turret's all the way back, helps to support the load and the weight uh, of, that, of the, that carriage. Another feature about the carriage is you'll notice that there's no wires running for the Z-axis. All of the wiring for all the components that are mounted to this are in this channel that go up to the back of the machine and then it's in an easily accessed channel in the back of the machine. There's a cable carrier in the back that supports the cables as they're running the full length of the back of the machine. But they're out of the cutting zone, they're out of the chip chip area so the, and the operator doesn't have to reach over them or step over them. We're going to go through the process of the quick change. The first thing to do is to press the e-stop. Then you come over and you disconnect the, the electrical and the hydraulic or coolant connections. And you come back to the control and unclamp using the zero point. Once it's unclamped, we can raise the turret.
Okay, now you can see we've added to the four position turret, we've added a milling unit. So this is a 50 taper, 30 horsepower milling unit with Y axis incorporated in the milling unit. Uh, this, this unit will produce nearly uh, 300 foot pounds of torque. This button here is your tool ejection. So when you want to replace the tools in there, you simply unclamp the tool, remove the tool, put the next tool in and clamp it back in place. Right now, the milling unit is facing the main spindle. It can also be rotated 90 degrees and work on the OD of the part. This milling unit is also capable of up to 3,000 RPM. Another feature of this milling unit is through spindle coolant is also incorporated for the live tools. So I want to really quickly show the Barifaldi CNC turret. This, this Barifaldi turret is a BMT 75 top plate with driven tool capability. It has an NC servo index capability for very fast indexing tool to tool. The live tool drive motor is a 10 kilowatt motor uh, with a uh, 5,000 RPM maximum speed. This turret also has a Y axis with plus or minus five inches of movement above and below center line. This turret is also equipped with through spindle coolant. So through all, all coolant can travel through the turret and through the tool. Thank you for taking the time to learn about the Geminis GT5i four bed guideway, 1400 millimeter swing by four meters between centers. And I hope you've learned a little bit about the machine and saw some of the accessories and the excellent flexibility that this machine can offer.